Hey there, this is Nathan and welcome to Sync Apps. Today let's talk about how field mapping works and how to map new fields inside your integration. Sometimes the basic pre-mapped fields like email address and name are not enough data to give your marketing automations a boost. Maybe you need to integrate other standard or custom fields to improve your email automations and you just don't want to always manually update those fields back and forth. Well, good news! Field mapping is available in Sync Apps. The additional field mapping page is typically on step 4 of your Sync profile setup. But before going there, please make sure that the fields you are trying to map, either standard or custom fields, are available on the page layout of the object type you are syncing in step 1 like contacts or leads layout. Please note that the field mapping feature is available as an add-on for free plans and is included in all our paid plans. So when ready, we can head to the field mapping section where we can map the fields from software A to software B or even vice versa. Once you're there, simply select the desired fields to be mapped, then choose the mapping direction. If the fields you want to map are not on the drop-down selections, tap the refresh fields button and check again. If the fields are still not available, just head to the software you are integrating and check if the fields are visible on the page layout of the object type you are syncing. There are also some instances that it won't appear as it depends if the field is supported by the API. So once the fields are selected, just tap the Add Mapping button and you can now proceed to map the other fields you want or tap the Save button if you're finished. Finally, make sure to tap the Reset Sync Process button to apply the new field mapping you have set up. Field mapping might be tricky for some software, so let me give you some notes for some of these top integrations. If you're using Constant Contact integration with Sync Apps, we now have 25 custom fields available as version 3 of the Constant Contact API is out. For MailChimp integrations, MailChimp is quite strict when it comes to address fields, so to make sure that the fields will be properly synced, You'll need to map all the address fields individually such as city and state or even zip. You can either use address or even better, text type fields for your MailChimp merge tags. Check out MailChimp's robust help center for deeper insights on this topic. For NetSuite integrations, the fields available in step 4 may vary on the selected save searches in step 1 of the sync profile. If the save search option is not selected, then the contacts fields will be available. If you're mapping multi-select or picklist fields, make sure that you have also set up a multi-select picklist field in MailChimp or a drop-down field with the exact field values to prevent errors. Dynamics 365 field mapping is usually straightforward with both standard and custom fields, so do reach out to us if you have encountered any issues. Lastly, for Salesforce field mapping, the fields available depend on the type of record you are syncing. So be sure that that is aligned the way you want it in step 1 and you should be all set for mapping the fields you need in step 4. Well, if in case you need some assistance with field mapping, feel free to reach out anytime 24-7 to our support team at support at kazumi.com or book a call with our experts at kazumi.com forward slash services. So that's it and I hope you learned something from this video. Again, this is Nathan. Thank you for watching and for choosing Sync Apps, the number one integration cloud for any industry.